What is up guys? In today's video, I'll be showing you a workout that's designed to help you get your first L sit to handstand. So before you get started, just make sure that you can, for one, hold a handstand for at least 10 seconds, fully straight, and two, be able to hold an L-sit for at least five seconds. All right, guys, so I'm gonna break this video down into two main components that you need to be focused on. First one's gonna be strength, second one's gonna be technique. So for the strength, we'll be doing a few exercises here to be able to build the strength in our shoulders, in our triceps, in our upper chest, to be able to perform the press up motion going from the outset to the handstand. First thing we're gonna do are pike push-ups. And I'm sure you guys already are hip to these, but this is very good for trying to replicate the handstand push-up as much as you can. So you wanna get your feet as close to your hands as possible, trying to load all of your body weight onto your shoulders, and then just simply going down So if you guys are first starting out and it's a little bit hard to be able to do the pipe push up with your feet close to your hands, you can always move your feet back and then try to do it like that. It's gonna make it a little bit easier, obviously, but as you get stronger, you can move your feet up closer towards your hands and then load more, more of your weight vertically onto your shoulders and your hands being able to do that. But for this workout, you should be able to do it to where you can hit it for at least eight reps and we're gonna do this for four sets. All right guys, next up, we'll just be doing simple handstand press-ups. So what you wanna do for this is you wanna jump into a 90 degree hold and then from there press up and then at the top of the motion, be able to hold it for a few seconds so that you learn how to kind of balance yourself throughout the whole press motion. So here's what it looks like. Kind of like that. So back when I was trying to learn the L sit to handstand, I had a hard time being able to keep my balance while going up in the pressing motion. So doing this really helps with that being able to learn how to control your body on the way up so that you don't just fall every single time. All right guys, and when you're doing this, try not to go below 90 degrees because obviously if you do, it's gonna be much harder to do the press up and it requires a lot more strength. So you wanna be able to hold yourself at 90 and it'll make it easier in the process. And that's where you're gonna be when you make the actual transition from the L sit into the pressing motion. So it's kind of hard not to let yourself drop, but that's a part of having enough strength to hold yourself at 90. Let's do it again. So you don't wanna just go like that, right? Because <laughs> then it's gonna be like impossible to press up. And make sure that you go slow too, so that you actually control the whole motion. All right guys, now we'll be focusing on doing negatives. So four negatives, that's when you start at the top of the handstand motion and then transition into the L-sit. So it's the inverse of doing the L-sit into the handstand. This is probably the hardest exercise we'll be doing today. If you can unlock this and the handstand press up, you should be good to actually do the L-sit to handstand. Here's what it looks like though. You wanna make sure that you have your core tight. That's going to ensure that you stay in control of your body. And you just wanna make sure that you go down very slow. You don't wanna drop, obviously. And then when it comes to knowing when you're at 90 degrees, it's hard to know because you can't see yourself. So with that, it just takes a lot of practice and a lot of reps to really kind of get a feel for it. But you just wanna like do everything as slow as possible so that you stay engaged, stay controlled the whole way through.
All right, as you guys can see behind me, it's about to rain any minute, so I kind of need to hurry up. But for the last exercise, we'll be doing an L-sit into a bent arm tuck planche. Here's what it looks like. All right, so as you just saw, go from an L-sit and then not going into a straight arm tuck planche, but bent arm. So that way it's more similar to what we're trying to do here. You wanna hold that for a few seconds then go back into an L-sit. We're gonna do this for four sets and six reps. All right guys, that concludes the workout. I made sure to include everything that I did along my journey to be able to unlock the Elsa to handstand and it covers every single component to it, strength and technique. Guarantee you'll be able to get it in no time. Like I said, if you can already do the handstand and the Elsa, it should come pretty natural. It's just all about making that transition and you will be able to get there. But I'm gonna get out of here before it rains. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace out. Next up, I'll show you how to go into an elbow lover. Hey, peace.